Today I'm going to attempt to clean the optics on my 8-inch Schmidt Cassegrain telescope. Um, I've never done this before. The thought of taking this apart and messing with the optics totally terrifies me. So with any luck we will not destroy the telescope and it should come out all sparkling clean. Or we'll destroy the telescope, I'm not sure which. We'll find out together. Before we get started, I just wanted to share something cool with you. Uh, YouTube sent me a, an email with a year-end statistics regarding how my channel was doing. And uh, I, just, I just wanted to say thank you for all the support that you guys have given me. Um, I, you've logged over 1,600 hours of uh, watch time and uh, over 12,000 views, and that's just a lot of Wilson. That's that's too much Wilson for anyone. But thank you for the support. It's I've only uh, just been doing this a few months, and uh, how much you guys have engaged me in the the comments and helped me out with some of my technical problems as I navigate to the. Uh, the new astrophotography landscape. It's just greatly appreciated. I thank you for the support. If you haven't subscribed already, uh, please consider doing so and uh, drop me a note in the comments. Say hi and and please do continue to, to offer me your suggestions and stuff. This uh, astrophotography is new to me and um, that's what I want to do is, is share it with others and, and kind of help others with the uh, the problems and pitfalls that, that I've experienced to smooth your transition as you learn it as well. So um, clear skies, clear, more clear than my skies today, I hope. So the first thing I want to do here is clean my work surface just to make sure I don't get any cross contamination when I start opening things up. So let's talk about why I would even consider doing such a terrifying thing. If I shine my flashlight in here, you can see all the, the specks of nonsense all around. And what's really bad is that there, it's, uh, the mirror itself is quite dirty back there. So um, I've never cleaned this telescope and I've had it for over a decade. So it's time. So apparently um, it is quite important that the corrector plate remain in this exact orientation as it relates to the primary mirror. So what we're going to have to do is uh, mark the corrector plate's location before we start taking things apart so that we can put it back in exactly the same place when we're done. Of course, once we're done, we're also going to need to collimate it um, as well. All right, so I've gathered my materials. Uh, we need distilled water, not regular water, distilled. 100% uh, um, cotton, cotton balls, um, some bowls to put the water in, uh, a screwdriver, and some masking tape to mark the locations of all the parts. I'm gonna start by putting a piece of masking tape on the corrector plate and this little thing that holds it. Carefully cut so that we don't scratch the plate. That piece of tape now is stuck to the glass as well as the plastic piece that holds it. All right, I'm going to uh, put a second piece of tape going from this plastic piece to the um, outside shell. Just like before, we'll cut it free. I always get nervous when I use a screwdriver to adjust my culmination screws. So using an X-Acto knife within a mile of this corrector plate really makes me nervous. Okay, just the uh, purpose of the tape here is that I'll be able to perfectly line up this uh, plastic retaining ring with the housing, as well as the retaining ring with where the corrector plate should be. So everything will be able to go back in the same exact position. All right, I've put on some nitro gloves just so I don't get any more contamination in here and we're going to start removing the screws. We do not want the corrector plate to fall out, so we're going to be very careful as we remove the screws. It is made of glass and we don't want it to bang against this hard tile countertop. Uh, 
All right, here it comes. That glass is a lot thicker than I thought it was going to be. Definite kind of a purple smudge right there. And there's another one up here at the top. Right there, right there. I don't know what, that must have come from the factory like that. I've never had this open before. So we're gonna see if I can uh, clean that out. Everything I've read says that I can use a drop of regular dishwashing soap uh, with the distilled water and you don't want to rub. So I've already blown this off with one of those little bulb blowers and you just want to dab very lightly because what we don't want to do is we don't want to drag that dirt and dust and stuff across the surface and then scratch the plate. So we're just dabbing. And then I'm using pure distilled water as my rinse with no soap or anything in it. And I find that I can see the dirt better by putting a light at a very low angle. And once I'm convinced that I've got the majority of the dirt off, then you can very lightly start rubbing very lightly. Really, one of the videos I watched on this just said use the weight of the cotton ball itself. Don't even press. That's looking really nice. So what I'm going to do here is uh, hit it again with the bulb blower just to remove some of that cotton fluff. Okay, we're going to do the inside now. So very carefully flip that around and we'll repeat the same process. We're going to use the same process. We're going to use the, uh, the soapy water followed by the clean water. Um, very light touches here on this. This is absolutely terrifying. I'm going to start drying this off now. And we'll take a closer look at those smudgy areas I had before. Cotton balls themselves have quite a bit of lint, so I'm going to Sort of tilt this up and use my little bulb blower. Kind of knock some of that nonsense out of here, that fluff and stuff. The amount of dust and stuff looks a lot better, but the smudges are substantially worse. So I think what that purple smudge I was seeing, I think that has something to do with the uh, coating that's on the mirror. So what I'm going to do here is use my microfiber cloth that I use for my um, uh, other optical equipment this this I don't use for my glasses and stuff It's just for things like this. So it is quite clean I'm going to attempt to use this to see if I can uh, remove some of those um, Smudges the instructions that I read on the forums and stuff said to use just the cotton balls So I'm kind of straying from the formula here. I am NOT an optics expert So you can do this at your own risk looks like it's working for me, but I make no guarantees I've never done this before you should definitely not listen to what I'm telling you to do and I'm very lightly Trying to buff out those smudges. It's just a very light touch they appear to be going away quite easily. It doesn't take any real effort or force, which is good. I don't know if that's better, but it's not worse. I definitely got rid of those blue smudges I had in there before, so the, I'm, I'm calling that a win. And it does look like there is substantially less dust and stuff. I'm not in a clean room, so I think this is about as good as it's gonna get. That actually does look quite a bit better to me. Yeah, there's still a couple little specks in there, but that is way better than it was before. I'm calling that a victory. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to um, blow this again with my bulb blower and uh, do it kind of upside down so that the dust, as it starts to settle, hopefully will drift toward the bottom. And then while that is drifting downward, uh, I'll work on the corrector plate one more time. I had failed to record it, but I actually had uh, written with a Sharpie on my little tape here just to remind me which ones line up with which. So we'll go ahead and put it all back together. We're gonna give the corrector plate one more blow with the 
blower. Looks pretty spot on with my tape marks. So let's go ahead and screw it back together. All right, so here's the uh, epilogue. I got the whole thing put back together. It, the corrector plate looked like it was uh, clean and stuff, but when I put it back together uh, and shine my flashlight against the backdrop of the telescope itself, um, I just wasn't ha satisfied with the results. There were weird smudges and stuff. So the instructions and things that I had read on the internet said to use the distilled water and the soap, and I definitely think that's the right way to go. You want to get the bulk of that dirt and, and grime off of there, and that's probably the, the safest way to do it with the cotton balls and everything. But the water and the, and the soap and, and stuff was just uh, be reacting oddly with the coatings on the lenses and it was giving me these weird smudges and stuff. So um, I tried a variety of things. I for a long time tried to, to just buff it out with my uh, microfiber cloth uh, that often works with my, my glasses when I have this problem. But uh, I just, it, I worked for a very long time on that corrector plate trying to fix that and it just wasn't having it. Ultimately, uh, what I found that worked was these um, lens cleaning um, wipes. Uh, I get these at Costco, uh, Flint's Wipe and Clear Lens Wipes. It says it's safe for all lens coatings for your glasses and stuff, so I thought I'd give it a try here. What I did is they're actually quite uh, wet, and when I was uh, just fresh out of the little package, it was doing the same kind of thing, making the, the coatings look kind of weird and stuff. So what I did was I just let one kind of dry out for a little while so that it was just still kind of damp, but uh, uh, not nearly as wet as they are when they first come out of the package. And that worked like a boss. It only took just a few minutes to just get rid of all those little smudges and stuff. And it looks really great now. Uh, I'll zoom in and uh, shine my light on there for you. Compared to what that looked like before, there's always gonna be a couple of specs. I'm not working in a clean room, but uh, compared to what that looked like before, uh, that's, that's beautiful. I'm digging that. So um, yeah, there you go. Costco. I imagine other brands would probably work as well. So there's probably some telescope experts out there that are saying, don't use these, that's a horrible idea. Uh, I am not an optics expert. I'm just a guy with a telescope. Um, I tried the instructions and stuff that I found on the internet and I wasn't getting results that uh, I was satisfied with. And ultimately these things, that's, uh, that's what got me there. So. Uh, try it at your own risk. This is an older telescope. This is a, a Celestron Nexstar 8i Special Edition. Um, under the impression that it's the same optical tube assembly as the uh, modern 8SE, but I don't know if they've changed their uh, lens coating formulation or, or something. Uh, it's possible that this would work for the old formula, but not the new one, but I don't think so. I'm under the impression that the uh, Celestron's using the same lens coatings as they, they were um, when this telescope was made. So um, try it at your own risk. Uh, don't, blame, don't blame me if you break a telescope. <laughs> Definitely want to use the, uh, the water and the soap and stuff first to knock off the, the big stuff. That's definitely the, the way to go. You don't want to be scratching your, your glass. Um, I did not uh, have a problem with the primary mirror, so I did not use these on the mirror. Uh, just on that corrector plate. So yeah, if you want to try this, it's not as hard as I thought it was going to be. It's, it's definitely doable. So uh, the proof will be in the final product. I'll still have to culminate it and take it out and see if all of this results in better images, but it definitely looks cleaner even under scrutiny. So I'm satisfied with it. Uh, give it a try and uh, let me know in the comments how yours comes out. Clear skies.